Notion is an amazing organizational tool and we use it to help make sense of our work, our life, and our side hustles. One of the things that helps Notion be even better is when we use notifications to keep us on track. Or if you are part of a team and you use Notion to help make sure the entire team stays on track. But getting Notion to trigger those notifications can be frustrating at first. In this video, we'll look at notifications with Notion, including reminders and mentions and follows. And you'll see all five ways that notifications are triggered in Notion. But there are some things you need to do first. If you haven't started using Notion, click on the link below and you can download Notion for free. Okay, to get any notifications from Notion, you need to do two things. Set up Notion and set up your devices for notifications. To set up Notion, at the top of the left navigation bar, go to Settings and Members. A new box pops up and near the top of the left navigation bar here, click on Notifications and Settings. It's here that you want to enable Notion to send notifications. You'll see I've used the toggle switch so that I get notifications on my mobile device, by email, and on my desktop app. I've also said to always send email notifications even while I'm active on the Notion app. If you are using Notion in your web browser and not using the Notion app that you've downloaded from one of the apps stores, you won't see the option to have notifications pushed to your desktop app. Okay, now that you have notifications set up in Notion, you need to be sure you've allowed notifications in your operating system. So I'm using a MacBook, so I'll go to System Preferences and then to Notifications and Focus here on that right edge. I'll scroll down to Notion and make sure that the notifications I want are set up. Now, up at the top, go to Focus. You'll want to determine in which focus state you want Notion to send you reminders. For me, I want these reminders in every focus state. Now, on my mobile device, I'll need to do a similar thing. I use an iPhone and I go to settings, then notifications, assuming I've downloaded the Notion app, and scroll down to Notion. Make sure you have it set to allow notifications and then you can configure the notifications as you wish. Next, go back to setting and choose focus. Then on every focus profile you have, you can select if you want Notion to be able to send you notifications. Finally, you are ready to get notifications. But before we get into the five scenarios where notifications are triggered, where notifications get shown can be a little bit tricky. First, anytime you get any notification, you'll see a red badge next to the word updates on the left navigation bar right here. And you can click on that and see all the notifications in summary. Second, the notification on your computer looks like this. And even though in Notion's documentation, it says it doesn't send one if the app is open, well, it sure seems to. Third, Notion pushes notifications to your mobile device, but it seems to trail the app by just a couple of minutes. And for email, if you've enabled Notion to send you an email even when the app is open, then you'll get that email. But like the mobile device, it seems to trail the app notification by a couple of minutes. All of that is pretty confusing, but now you have set up Notion, you set up your computer and your mobile device, and now you know how notifications are going to show up. Let's talk about how notifications get triggered. There are currently five different scenarios in which Notion will send you a notification. Number one, reminder of a due date or calendar item. If you have a task and there is a date, you can use that date to set a reminder. Click on the date itself, and if you want to just get it at the beginning of the day, click on Remind and select when you want to be notified. However, if you want a specific time, click on Enable Time here, and then you can pick a specific time to be reminded. When this is triggered, you should see a notification within just a few minutes in all the places you've enabled it. You'll notice that on the task page, this item's date is now red to indicate it's been triggered. But don't forget that for mobile and email notifications, it can sometimes take a few minutes for it to show up. So I suggest for time sensitive reminders, you set it for at least five minutes prior to the event. Reminder on a page. Number two, reminder on a page. Let's say that you're working on a document and you don't finish it. Maybe you need to research something. Maybe it's the end of the day and you're just tired. Or maybe you need to go to a meeting. So you don't forget to come back to it. You can just type at remind tomorrow at 10 a.m. and it will trigger a notification at 10 a.m. Number three, changes to a page that you follow. Now there are several pages where I follow a page in my wife's Notion account and several where she follows a page of mine. When we travel, I create a page with all of our travel arrangements. 
And if she follows that page, anytime I make a change on that page, like her flight has changed or I've added a car rental, she'll get a notification immediately. The way to follow a page is up in the upper right, you'll see the small clock. Click on that and then click on follow. Now any changes that are made by someone else will trigger a notification. Now if you feel it's too many notifications, don't worry, you can unfollow by clicking the clock and hitting unfollow. Number four, someone mentions you on a page. Like on other apps, if someone mentions me with the at sign, I'll get a notification immediately. For example, hey, four minute answers, you may want to edit this document. When that happens, I will get that notification. Now for this to work, you have to be part of the same workspace, but when it triggers, you'll get to see what someone else is saying about you. Number five, finally, on a task list or project database, if I'm added as the owner of a task in the database, I will get a notification. Well, this is exactly what you want, to be notified when someone expects something from you on a project. Those are the five ways to trigger notifications and how to set up notifications in Notion on your phone and on your computer. If you want to learn more about how to become a Notion Pro, check out this video here.